number four, reverse engineering. Now that you know the 20% of things you want to eliminate and what to replace it with, how are you going to figure out the best way to implement your new goals? Our minds think front to back, top to bottom, but just like word processor text, front to back doesn't inspire the brain. When you reverse engineer a task, it forces the brain to help you make it happen. A perfect example is the forger. If you want to forge a signature and look at the signature the right way around, the letters have meaning and it's difficult to forge because you know it has to look a certain way. But if you turn the signature upside down, the signature isn't letters anymore but squiggles and the brain can copy squiggles easily because it knows it isn't supposed to look a certain way. The same happens when you re-engineer. Number five, the Eisenhower matrix. Okay, so you know the task to achieve your goal, but which ones are urgent, which ones are important, and which ones are less important and less urgent. Doing tasks in the right order can save a lot of time. This method breaks down tasks for the day into urgent important, urgent not important, not urgent important, and not urgent not important. Hopefully you know that you are wasting your time with not urgent not important. So cross those off. Urgent and important, you want to make sure you do those as soon as possible, today. Not urgent but important, you want to do those before they become urgent. Now you have a lot of tasks you need to do, so what will you do with the urgent but not important? Some of these you can also bin. Perhaps they're not important but but need to be done. Calling existing customers is urgent but not important to growing the business. So this is the perfect set of tasks to give to somebody else. But wait, if you don't have somebody to do them, what if the tasks on the two lists are already too long for you to be able to implement on your own? That's where the final tip comes in.